everybody. I have an incredible view behind me. I am enjoying my morning cup of coffee. It's about 8.45 in the morning. I slept like a rock last night after we were out in the sun buzzing around doing the Bone Air tour yesterday. Uh, there is an incredibly beautiful blue ocean behind me with this cliff that is a little daunting. You just don't want to get too close to it. And then there's this wonderful pool right here, which the baby is enjoying splashing around in the water with tea. Say good morning, tea. So today, what well, the plan is, is we're gonna go to three beaches. They're all in these little coves. We of course have the one right next to our hotel. That is going to be reserved for sunset, but we're gonna go to the other two. One, I believe, is just north of us, and the other one is just south of us. And we'll kind of determine which one is best and which ones have their pros and cons. But there are plenty of other coves to explore. There's several sort of on this same side of the island as us. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have time to go to those. But definitely enjoy the shots. I'm going to try to get a bunch of cool footage for you guys. And um, hopefully you will be able to go to Curacao and be properly informed as where to go so you can maximize your time and spend your days efficiently if you like to tackle a bunch of things Pfft, these bugs are ridiculous It does a good job when it works, but my goodness, is this one of the most finicky, torturous pieces of film equipment I've ever had to set up in my entire life. Once this thing gets moving, we'll only have to adjust it 35 more times in the next three hours before the day's over. You're excited we have a hotel kitty because you love animals. Isn't the kitty fascinating? Isn't he? Good morning, everyone. We are doing something rather exciting. Actually, I screwed up the day and time frame on our Bonaire trip in the previous video. I was actually supposed to do that on. I believe uh, Monday and I showed up at the airport without a passport so I thought that we wouldn't have time to do this however we are going four-wheeling we are going four-wheeling in Christoph Christoffel National Park So the first stop is a copper mine, which I guess wasn't too profitable. You can see the ruins behind me here. It looks like things kind of seized up before they really took off and things just sort of went to ruin. And now it's a national park. <laughs> 
funny how those things work. us we have a beautiful view of the east coast of the island the ocean side so we are making our way through the Christoffel National Park I believe what it's called there are supposed to be some other views here but right now all we can see is essentially the bush how thick and dense it is imagine being a settler or whoever when you first got to this island and this is what you see a bunch of prickliness but then you'll see this So behind me is Plantation Kip. It's a, a few structures that I guess go back to the 1600s. And it's very scenic. You have the ocean beyond there. Uh, we definitely did some serious inclines on the way up. So we're, we're pretty high up above this valley. Uh, but traditionally, I guess there was a series of plantations around the ring of the island. This is one of the most notable ones. Kip, K-N-I-P. You see that word quite a bit. Uh, there's a few beaches named after it. There's several streets and boulevards and things like that named after it as well. So they were probably the first people to really hold influence on the island. And beyond that, we know nothing about them. Christoffel National Park would highly recommend. Yes. They do have a few offshoot trails that you can go on. Also, if we had more time, on the other side of the road, there is kind of a coastal off-roading section, uh, which looked really cool. Unfortunately, we have to move on. We have to check out. If you're on the western part of the island, you're at West Point, or uh, you're near where we're staying, Lagoon Blau, definitely it's like 15 minutes away. It's right there.